I was walking down from this road and I was disappointed because I saw that there was some other mushroom hunter and who had some finds so I was quite skeptical but maybe you can see what I have found shortly after that so you can always find something even if, if someone was there before This is a spot where I once found a beautiful tzeb growing upside down from this steep edge of the forest road and look what is here today it's not growing upside down but it's even more beautiful than back then this one is so nice I broke a little bit of a small one which was there So I take this beauty, for this one we will also check if it's healthy, I'm really curious. But that's not everything from here, because even before this one we found a group of other mushrooms. So we have three steps here, two and the third one back there and also some Scarlatina bolete. I was thinking it's just one but this Scarlatina has some tiny brothers there. They will stay here. I take the steps. Wow, so beautiful mushrooms another tip mm -hmm. and there are tiny scarletinas next to him and for that one I need to turn the camera off so we will later clean these I didn't expect my best mushroom find of this year to be in November. I took some pictures and now it's time to pick them. A bit bitten from some parts but such a beautiful twins and at the very same spot actually I found twins also last year so look at these four amazing mushrooms I wanted to continue further and maybe try to find something else and I noticed this I don't even want to know how many mushrooms are hidden under the leaves here This one went out pretty easily and it looks perfect 
amazing mushroom. I was thinking that this is not the ideal day for some amazing tap find, but I was wrong. I found a beautiful spot. And I will pick all of those that I have found here. So we have two. Three. I will take these. Probably you can see another tree now. Beautiful. Twins. Hmm, these are too soft. I'm not taking those. Another one. A tiny one. This one will stay here. Quite a big one. Another big one. smaller one with pretty long stem so I will try to put all of them together at one spot and here they are Eight, which I will probably take, and two more back here. In this steep hill in the beech forest, I last year I found here three different types of boletus, like Boletus edulis, Boletus reticulatus, and Boletus spinophilus. And for now, this looks like young Boletus edulis growing out nicely from this mossy pillow it's always so nice to see I think it's a rock with a moss cover and this edulis looks great but there is a huge slug eating it so the slug needs to go down And the mushroom will be for me. I wanted to put the mushroom here on this trunk. But then I noticed one other mushroom that direction. Not sure if you can see it. However, then I noticed the other mushroom is not just one. I have spotted the second one later third one and when I came closer I counted five and I will show you so let's take the biggest one it's very bright from the bottom of the head so that means it's probably very fresh that's always a good sign I take also this one. Very nice shape and colors. Looks very healthy. So this is 
another one one more here actually this one should be I was thinking it's takeable size but I will not take it I think it's still too small and this one is also pretty huge so definitely goes with me So, four beautiful seps from one spot and we will check if they are healthy. And a few meters from the previous one we have something great here. There is also one little one here, which I'm not taking. But these are twins, which must be taken. That's, that would be a sin to not take such a find like this what a beauty and there is also one smaller which I am taking as well and the stem is pretty long and it's rooted very deeply and we have something more to see what I noticed just now unfortunately I broke part of the stem of this one so now let's go with me about one and a half meters from here I guess can you see this? Amazing finds continue. This is a magical place. And I was nervous during the weekend when I came here and I saw how many mushroom hunters were here and how much mushrooms they take. But look at this. Such a good day today. So many fresh mushrooms even after such a busy weekend four guys from here sorry five of course i found these on sunday evening they were of a takeable size already but i wanted to try to let them grow bigger so this is what i find here today this is the first one look how beautiful one I just covered the holes after them. Now check these two. Wow. I'm very lucky for such mushrooms today, but oh, these are from a few days ago. This one is perfect. Look at this. Sometimes it's worth to let them grow, but sometimes you can find just some residuals of them after some time, after someone took them. So here is uh, one more which I didn't notice on during the weekend. And there is another one which I didn't notice before. And it looks also perfectly. Wow, some really amazing mushrooms here. So, new mushrooms to the basket. Here is a nice forest road where some time ago, one or two years ago, I found many slippery jacks at this spot. So I came here and I see no slippery jacks. But there is other beautiful surprise here. Look at this step. too much sun I need to get into the shadow it looks very fresh 
amazing shape and size. Here we have mostly pines, beeches and oaks. All of those are trees where pine bolids like to grow near. And here is a beautiful pine bolid. One more pine bolete, Boletus spinophilus, a beautiful one. A bit damaged, but still. This is another spot from my previous video where I let some mushrooms to grow, some tiny ones. And what I hoped, hoped for was to find some size like this in, in a few days. So this hope was right and successful. Here is one more. And the third one. So, three more beautiful mushrooms from this magical spot. And I'm just a few meters from the previous spot with the three beautiful ones. And we have more here. The third twins for today. They are so beautiful. Two more mushrooms are here. This one is too tiny, but this one is good size. So we have three more, and we are still not done yet. I put them to the others. This one was found a little bit further, which I didn't record. And continue here. Fourth twins today. They have a bit warmy stem, unfortunately. But still, I'm very happy that most of the mushrooms are very healthy today. And we have three more here. This one is very tiny. This one is perfect size. Wow. Not just perfect size, but also perfect shape. And this one is the biggest of them. And also very nicely shaped. It's visible that someone was picking mushrooms here in previous days, but that's what I told you already. This place was very busy during the weekend with many mushroom hunters. And now it's Tuesday and look what we can find here. There. I think this will go to the thumbnail of today's video. So nice. Wow. I also believe they will be mostly healthy. I'm just not sure what this yellow thing is. So let me know in the comments if you do. But now let's focus on pulling out the biggest one.
Yes. Four beautiful mushrooms on this nice spot. After some time, we also have a beautiful tip here. And it looks amazing. And probably the amazing finds continue because here is a beautiful sap. And it's not the only one here. Can you see them? The second one. And the third and the biggest one. Awesome find. Further finds from here. A nice step. Quite small, but it's quite old too. However, this one looks basically ideal. And very fresh. So beautiful too, Zeps. Now this one is big enough to take. It's growing with a twin. Beautiful mushrooms. And look at this. Quite a nice big one. Beautiful mushroom. Another medium size. Perfect shape. Not damaged. And one more very tiny, which will stay here. So these guys will go with me. We have this beautiful river here. And from the other side of the river I saw some steps on this side. They were not so well visible as they are now. But I was lucky to spot them and with no much hesitation I'm going to pick all of them. So, 
four beautiful steps. Really amazing find. Another beautiful fly agaric. And as it is quite common, especially today, near fly agarics we have something else. A beautiful huge sap. So now we are at the same spot as we were on Friday and this spot was completely empty. There was no sap, no anything. But here is the first one. Very tiny one starting. So that's one. Here we have two more, a tiny one and a one which is stakeable size, so I'm taking this one. But that will be maybe the only one from here. Look how nice it looks like. So that's, um, I think, three what we have seen so far. Four, tiny one. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15 16 17 18 19 but well, this one is big enough to take Oh, I broke the hat from it. So was it 19? 20? 21? 22? 23? 24? 25? 26 27 28 So I'm taking some of the biggest and I believe there are many more that I didn't notice Lucky person who will come here in maybe two days. This is amazing Sometimes I notice mushrooms just thanks to making a short break somewhere in the forest and that's also the case of this beautiful sap. Such a nicely fresh looking specimen. So let's check the health of this guy. It's very firm, that's great. So yeah, 
another beautiful guy to the basket. Another big boy. It's very firm, so maybe it will be healthy. But it's not big one, not the only big one here. Because now you should be able to see two more. And these look even more fresh. Because of the color from the bottom of the hat. So, three big ones from here. One more spot. There are many tiny ones which I will not take. But these two are big enough. And this one is quite huge actually. Yeah. This side is a bit ugly and this side is great. So, three more. And check this spot. There are still so many tiny ones which are growing out. But this one will go with me. This is the biggest from these four which I can see here. This part is a bit damaged but still looks very nice. This one is also with a spider and a small slug. And this one is probably the nicest of these four. So... Four new ones. This is another from the category of forest road finds. That means you are just going walking on a forest road and you look around maybe you will find some beautiful mushrooms like this one this one is basically perfect as many others today so really a great day for such mushrooms and we have more just few meters away and we have some more forest road finds I saw these mushrooms from the forest road and when coming closer I saw more of them. So there are these two on this side. Let's say it's the right side from the starting point. And we have probably seven more on the left side. Maybe you can see some of them. Still hardly believable how many healthy mushrooms there are in the forest today. And there are so many small ones still 
just starting to grow. So this is three more. Another one. And maybe the prettiest one is here. Oh yeah, that's a nice shape. So we have nine more mushrooms here. Probably because of this find I will put this video also to my Epic Mushroom Hunts playlist. Can you see that? In the sunlight. But at first I will take this one. So two smaller ones. And a huge one. So one more time hear the sound. Such a huge, very heavy, not sure if it will be healthy, the stem is a bit soft, but we'll see. As the hat is so firm, maybe at least the hat will be usable. A nice spot with some nice mushrooms. This is a young summer tip. I really like the shape. Seems like there was no slug around because it's not damaged at all. Perfectly round shape. And it's not the only one here. There are some russulas around and some other mushrooms and I'm interested in summer ceps. On this one you can see how much they can crack if the weather is dry and warm. But I still have some hope that it will be usable. Green from the bottom side of the head so it's an older one. But this one also has no other damage, no mold so hopefully it will be okay. And there was one more, perfectly camouflaged. I was very lucky to spot it. I also took a picture of this one too. And this one also looks great. So, three beautiful summer tips. Not sure if you can see that. But we have some more of Boletus edulis specimen in this beach forest. Ouch! I don't want to touch everything around here. It looks like a deer toilet. So 
so I need to be careful but we have three more and beautiful guys to the basket Here is another one. And one more. This one is a bit more fresh because the head color is white from the bottom. And here they are. And we have amazing view here. Maybe you can already see it. This one was a bit easier to spot thanks to its white stem, but it's already uncovered a bit more. And as you can see, we have some chanterelles next to it, probably craterellus to buy for me. which is also a nice edible mushroom. Maybe I will pick those too. But let's focus on the biggest guy now. So, really looks great. Autumn ceps as I like them. That's what I... On top of the mushrooms I would also like to show you some great views that I have here. I was admiring this huge tree. I think it could be a spruce. Maybe. And then I was walking by, looking around if there are any more mushrooms. Of course there are plenty, but I was looking for ceps. And then I noticed something here. Look at this. A beautiful one. Interesting shape. Great colors. Beautiful. In autumn it's good to have a look also on meadows, just not far from some trees. This is exactly the same spot as one year ago in September, where I had some beautiful finds of Boletus edulis. And look at this one. It looks amazing. Next to it, there is one even bigger one. Not sure if all of it will be usable, but it looks pretty decent actually. And I broke the stem, which is a bit pity. But at the end, I can see that it's probably not wormy, which is great. So here they are. Another guy that I saw from a forest road. Looks very nice. And I think it could also be Boletus reticulatus and not Boletus edulis, as most of the mushrooms today. But I'm not sure about this one. After this one I have noticed there is also this guy, even closer to the forest road, but a bit better hidden. 
So this one looks similar. And that's still not everything. We have spruce here, but also several beaches. And I have noticed one beautiful round head. And I'm almost sure that this is a Boletus reticulatus, so a summer sap. And I took a picture of this one. And this one looks basically perfect. Such a beautiful mushroom. I'm pretty sure this is Boletus reticulatus because of the colors and material parameters. So, three more beautiful mushrooms here. A lovely find in the moss. Very long stem and still perfectly looking very fresh. So let's check the health of this guy. Again looks very healthy. So beautiful, fresh, healthy mushroom. Here we have amazing place with many beautiful saps. For example, here I have, I think six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And from these, I want to take this one, which doesn't look too old. Not all of them look fresh, so I will not take all, just those that I consider good looking. So I take two from here and let's continue up. Here are two tiny ones which I will leave here for someone else, but they look really nice. Two big ones for me. I'm taking these twins. They look great. So that's four for me. Here is one more which I don't like so much. I didn't, but it's very firm, so actually I decided to take it. And it's two of them, and there is a little one. And this one should be good also. This one is probably the freshest from all of them. I think we have seven pieces which I'm taking. And here, this looks like a nice firm tap. So I hope it will be healthy. Looks good. So let's check if this guy is healthy. And it seems like it is. So 
yeah looks very nice it's not the youngest one but it's in a good shape now we are in this mostly beach forest and I have found something nice maybe you can see it now maybe not yet but I will start with this small guy a little sip which looks great but it's too small to take so what I usually do with such small ones I cover them to increase the chance that they will grow bigger at least as big as these two beautiful two tips Under this huge beech tree we have an amazing spot for some ceps and I will start picking them right away so the first one looks very good and just now I noticed there is a small guy here which is quite huge thanks to a very thick stem so I'm taking it this one is quite well hidden uh, wow this one is quite huge actually and very nicely shaped so that's three, four, this one is a bit old and the stem is a bit soft so not sure if this one will be okay, we'll see. Smaller one but with a perfect shape. So that's five which is still less than half from what I counted before so let's continue here is a very tiny one which I will not take so just cover it so I think that was six I have seven mm, this one is too old not taking it we'll rather take this this younger one so if i count correctly this is eight nine ten but I think I will leave this one to grow then also this one is too small for me to take eleven Beautiful. And twelve, another tiny one. So I will just get back to the others. This is what I'm taking from this one spot. We are approaching the spot where almost one year ago we have found more than 30 summer ceps at one spot. 
I hope you have seen the video because that was a legendary find. Here is the first one from this spot. A bigger one and it looks very good. So it's not the only one that's what I can tell you already but I need to go very slowly to the others because I don't want to step on any of them. Here I can show you one more. But this one is softer, looks a bit older. I will focus on uh, smaller and more fresh ones. So this one will stay here to spread some spores. This one is also a bit bigger. But still quite firm and I think it's two of them next to each other. They are twins. So I will take this one. But as you can see the color from the bottom side is a bit green. That means it's a bit older. Still quite firm so the big one will be okay. And the small one doesn't look good actually. So the small one will be uh, cut off Never mind We continue further Here is a smaller one and a very beautiful one Look at this This looks amazing So The first of the small ones from here A second from the small ones is this beauty. This is a perfect mushroom. It already looks very tasty. And if you smell them, the smell is awesome. So, second small one from here. There was one more. I can already see it. Another beauty. Last year they got smashed by slugs very quickly. These look also touched by slugs, but looks much better than last time. Here I have some more. Uh, not sure if I will take them because these guys look a bit older. Uh, but I will show you. So one and small one next to it. These two will remain here. The same for this one. It's quite firm, but the head is quite damaged. And as I said, I want to focus on the small and fresh ones. A big guy here. So these will stay here and up here. I saw some more fresh ones that I will probably pick. Let's get there. I also took a picture of this one. looks amazing quite a big one still looks very fresh and firm there is a hole made by slug or a bug 
This one is a strong guy, was lifting this fallen branch. Also looks perfect, look at this spongy white, very smooth bottom of the hat. So these are some fantastic mushrooms here. We are still not done because I saw some more a bit further. We need to get to them. I was also taking a picture of one of them because it looked perfect. Maybe you can already see it. I think this one is the nicest so far, like all of them are beautiful, but this one, the shape is so regular, so smooth, even the color is perfect, so yeah, amazing, and it has a brother here. This one is also beautiful. So that's two young ones. Is there any more? I know about one at least somewhere here. Three perfect brothers. I will take them to the others. So we can see all of them from this place together maybe arrange them a little bit look at these beautiful mushrooms here I think we should check if they are healthy a surprise here can you see both of them Wow, this one is really fragile. There is a slug, two of them, eating the stem, so the stem got broken because of that. Uh, the good news is that the stem has no signs of worms, not at all. Two perfect summer tips here.